For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. 2021. Historic year for labor in the US. An eruption of strikes, major contract wins, workers quitting low-wage jobs in unprecedented numbers. All signaled that workers in mass are ready to reclaim their power. Workers fight to unionize. Two Starbucks stores in Buffalo, New York became the first Starbucks locations in the country to vote to unionize despite an egregious anti-union campaign. Union drives are underway in several more states. After filing for a union back in May, 17,000 higher education workers at the University of California voted to strike for recognition. Two weeks later, the university agreed. Student Researchers United is the largest new union formed in the country in recent decades. After decades of decline, only 10% of workers in the US belong to a union. At the same time, approval of labor unions is at 68%, the highest point since 1965. Year of the Strike Cornell University's ILR School Strike Tracker reported a total of 363 strikes across the US. The largest ongoing strike in the country is taking place at Columbia University in New York City, where 3,000 graduate student workers have been on strike for nine weeks to demand fair pay and healthcare benefits. Workers at John Deere, Kellogg's and Frito-Lay all went on strike and won their demands over proposed extensions to two-tire pay and benefit systems an insidious tactic to divide workers and give newer workers less. From McDonald's and Wendy's to Walmart and Family Dollar, thousands of workers in the industries that provide essentials to millions every day demanded better and won. There were strikes that didn't come to be, two of which scored major wins for healthcare workers, who have risked their lives day in and day out to care for the millions impacted by the pandemic. In July, over 1,500 nursing home workers in Pennsylvania won historic pay raises less than 24 hours before the one-day strike was set to take place. The largest healthcare strike in decades was narrowly awarded at Kaiser Permanente Healthcare Providers. 35,000 workers who were set to strike in November won a four-year agreement that includes pay raises and measures to address understaffing. Workers take on Amazon. In one of the biggest labor stories of the year, workers at an Amazon warehouse in Alabama struggled through months of threats and surveillance to hold an election with the National Labor Relations Board on whether to form a union. Amazon trampled on labor law, interfering in the process with extensive union-busting techniques and succeeded in not letting the vote pass. Despite this, workers have continued to push forward union drives and organizing efforts. One of the largest unions in the US, the 1.4 million member strong International Brotherhood of Teamsters, voted to approve a resolution calling for a campaign to mobilize and organize Amazon workers across the US. On Black Friday, Amazon workers in over 20 countries coordinated the biggest day of strikes and actions against the company ever. What's next? Facing year three of the coronavirus pandemic, historic income inequality, and decades of stagnant wages, this labor revival is guaranteed to escalate in 2022. 2021 has proven that the workers united are not ready to be defeated.